Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing a weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading, but we'll see what comes up. This is not a private reading, so it may not be for you, okay? This is a general reading, so it's for hundreds and thousands of people watching it. Um, so yeah. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a minute or less. I will focus the camera in once I have the cards laid out. Okay. So the basis of your reading is the Empress, okay? That is that tells me that you need to love without expectations right from the get-go, okay? Because that's what she does. She loves without expectations. She's very compassionate. She gets by on her beautiful soul, okay? She doesn't need a lot of money. She doesn't need a lot of things. Her soul is beautiful, and she knows it, okay? And But she's not, she doesn't have a huge ego, okay? So that's... You know, for lack of a better word, she believes in herself, all right? She believes in her inner beauty, all right? She believes in it, and she gets by on that. Because she believes in herself so much, everybody else believes in her, okay? Because she's vibrating so highly. So take that as advice. Your soul is beautiful, Libra. Remember that, okay? For many of you, you're still working on freeing yourself from a situation. You're feeling trapped or you're you're still trapped. You're trapped in a situation that you don't want to be trapped in anymore. I mean, you don't want to be trapped in it, but you haven't freed yourself yet, okay? You can free yourself, but you just haven't, okay? This is the Eight of Swords. I feel like you're about to have your wake-up call. If you haven't had it already, maybe you have and you just haven't taken the steps, all right? You must release the past. It was karma. This is karma. This is releasing the past. And this is your wake-up call. It is the judgment card. Okay? We, I see that for many of you, there could have been a third-party situation. All right? That has really um, want, made you want to let go. But you've been resisting letting go. All right? Something has happened with another person, you know, where there's more than one person in the mix. And you know you need to let go, but you can't. You're resisting it for some reason. I think that's your own inner insecurities, okay? You have insecurities in the fact that, and, and it's also pride, okay? I think your your pride has been hurt. And, and you know, that that's hard. That's hard to get over. The fact of the matter is you need to accept the truth, the bare, the bare truth, okay? The raw truth. Okay, the raw truth is here. It's being handed to you from above. You see it. I know that you do. You see it. But you're not, you're not, you're resisting, you're resisting it. You're not listening because we have the high priestess reversed. You're not listening. You know what the truth is, but you just can't let go. This is the hanged man. All right, you can't. You're, you, you can't. You're just not doing what you need to do to let go, even though you need to. It's in because of that, no new doors are opening. Be prepared to live with your consequences. Another uh, sign had this too. This is the lover's card. And this two of wands is reversed. This would be a new door, a new course. But it's not happening. You're not getting any new love because you're not accepting the truth. You're not letting go. You're not moving on. You're letting your inner insecurities take over. You're, they're, they're at like... They're, at, they're all time high at this point, okay? You're not feeling good about being by yourself. This is the Nine of Pentacles. You're not feeling grateful at all. It's like, you know, I, this is, I'm a victim here, and you're not a victim. You're not a victim. Be grateful for what you have and move on. It's time to refocus on the future. Seriously, it's time to really focus. You have what it takes to move on. It's time to bring your vibration back up. It's time to bring your beauty back. It takes courage. It takes confidence. It takes determination. And it takes willpower. Where is it? Where's your willpower? I see that your excitement is gone. It's like 
you just feel so withdrawn, like unhappy, sad. I can't move forward. Woe is me. This is the page of sort, page of wands reversed, where you should be feeling good. Look at things from a new perspective. You should be like, I am out of here. I'm taking action. Okay, take action. Don't stall. Okay, you can't. You, there's a lack of self confidence and self worth here. There is. That's the page of wands. You need to bring that shit back. Bring it back. All right. It's a time of renewal for you. Look at it like that. It's a time of rebirth. Do it. Take action. Bring your beauty back. Bring it back. You can do it. You can free yourself from this situation that you haven't been accepting whenever you're ready to walk away. You can. It's time to release the past karma. Okay? It is. It's time to bring back structure and organization and control back to your life. Stop resisting it. You're ignoring that there was like a third party situation. And it's, and it's really making you feel down. It's making you very ungrateful for everything. All right? There's no reason. There's no reason to feel that way. You need to refocus. All right? Um, the storm is almost over, but you're keeping it going. You're the wind. You can stop blowing whenever you're ready. Okay? If this was upright, I would tell you the storm is almost over, but... You, you're not letting it be upright. You're keeping it going by not moving on, by not taking the lead. Don't expect any new doors to open in love. This is a new door, but it is an opening. It's reversed. You may want love, but be prepared to live with your consequences. If you stay stuck, it's either this way or that way. What's it going to be? If you stay stuck, it's not going to happen. You can't manifest a new security, a new stability if you don't make a decision. Be prepared to live with your consequences if you're not going to accept the truth. It's time to accept the truth of a situation. Okay? I think there's been some um, control here. Somebody's tried to remain in control of a situation. You know, there's been some controlling tendencies. And I think that, you know, things have been a little overpowering. There could have been some power struggles here. Um, and it's just a really unhappy time where you must struggle through it. You have to struggle through this this. Um, hurt that you've been going through there's definitely been a third party situation and that doesn't mean it has to be a lover it could be family member and partner you know there's been a third party situation it could be lovers you know where you just you can't you're stuck there you're not freeing yourself you're not moving on it's it's killing you inside it's like you're not happy about anything at this point in your life You've been offered the raw truth. You've been offered the opportunity for security and stability elsewhere, but you're staying stuck in the past. You are. That's what I see for many of you. So the new door in love cannot open. New door in love cannot open. I mean, you can think about it and you can try to manifest it until you're blue in the face. But if you don't accept the truth and move away from whatever it is that you are stuck in that's making you so unhappy and ungrateful and unexcited and just almost like dead inside, okay? Like you can't move forward. If you don't make the right choice... You can't manifest something new. It doesn't work like that.
You created this. Believe it or not, this is the magician. This is about creation and using your resources. You're not creating anything new. This is reversed. You're not willing to make a change. It's reversed. When it's upright, you're willing to use your resources to move on. It's reverse, 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 reverse Knight of Pentacles, reverse Magician, reverse Page of Wands. There's no new growth here because you're not willing. You're not willing to refocus. You're not willing to take the lead. There's cold heartedness here. This is a Knight of Cups. Somebody's feeling very cold. Um, withdrawn. I don't know if that's you or the other person, but you might be feeling like very hateful, like I don't even want love at this point. If I can't have this person, I don't want anybody. I mean, you could be feeling like that. That that stops everything. This is the Wheel of Fortunes reversed. If you feel like that, and I feel like you do, many of you, if you feel like that, then, then don't expect anything new to start, okay? If you don't want love, then that's what you get. Okay? If you don't want it. All right. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles reversed. You can't build something that isn't meant to be. Okay? You can put your... If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. It will fall apart if it's not meant to be. You can't make the wheel spin if it's not meant to spin in that direction. You can't make it happen no matter what. You can't manifest... The wrong thing. You have to let go of an obsession. Whatever you're trying to manifest is a complete obsession. This is the obsession card. You cannot manifest it. You must let it go. The end. It's the end. The Ten of Pentacles. It's the end of a relationship. Okay, home. You know, when your home was all cozy, whatever the case was, you know, something in your life has come to an end. You're at the end of it. And you just can't get over it. You're not willing to make a change. I have to remind you one more time. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down on this one, but I'm not going to lie to you, Libra. Okay? I'm not. And this may not be for you, because this is for hundreds of thousands of people as a general reading. This right here. And you may want to lie to yourself. Go for it. I'm not going to do that. This lover's card does not happen until you let go of the past. You have to be willing to do that. You have to be willing to take action. You have to be willing to use all your resources and refocus and take the lead. And be grateful for all that you have. And let go of the cold, bitter energy. You need to bring your vibration back up. You need to honor your soul. Perhaps you need to do some serious soul searching. It is a time of renewal should you decide to just cut the cord. Cut it. Use this sword to cut the cord. Once you do, it's a time of rebirth. Then these cards will flip over. But you have to let go of the obsession. Yeah. You want this happily ever after? Do you really? You can't get it with the wrong one. That's not going to happen. You know, a new lover could come into your life should you decide to let them. You have to let them. And you can only let them when you've released the past. And that judgment card right there says it. You have to release the past. It's time for you to open your eyes and wake up. Release yourself. Eight of Swords. Release yourself from this mental trap that you're in. Wow, I think that's your card. Oh my God, because I can see that you've lost, you don't feel grateful for anything at this time. It's like, you know, it's, it feels almost like you hate the world. It's like you're very angry, cold, bitter, you know, over this whole scenario. Let it go. It's time to do some soul searching. Honor your soul. 
bring yourself back. Where's your inner beauty? It's in there. Come on now. It's there. Man or woman, you have inner beauty. You're beautiful. Where the hell is that anyway? Come on now. Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. Be your own advocate. Believe in yourself. Love who you are and the energy of self-love will help you realize your dreams. It's absolutely time to start realizing your dreams. Refocus. When was the last time you gave yourself a pat on the back or acknowledged that you love yourself? Think about that for a minute. Stop right now. When was the last time you gave yourself a pat on the back or acknowledged that you love yourself? When? When have you acknowledged that you love yourself? Be honest. Working on a good relationship with yourself will enable you to have a positive relationship with others. Love who you are, Libra. Be your own advocate. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I will talk to you later.